Do you see this jacket? This jacket right yeah. here? Do you know where my jacket is? This is right here, homie. Yeah. This is my jacket. I don't need this jacket because I got my own. This jacket is a small, and look at this. It's because you're a cute little guy. No, I hate it. <laughs> Let's just have a quick little chat about something that we get asked from time to time. And when I mean time to time, I mean that we get asked all the time, actually. Like, more than you were a wee little lad and you had to ask your parents if you could, like, turn on the TV and then you'd ask them. And then if you got a no, you just waited five minutes and then you'd ask them again. And then if that didn't work, you went to your mom and then maybe stretched the truth a little bit and said something like, hey, you know, can I turn the TV on? Dad said I could, Dad said I could turn it on. He said it was all right. If you said it was okay and then my mom said it's okay, you go back to dad and then say, hey, dad, mom said it was okay. Can I turn the TV on? And, you know, then you got to watch cartoons on Saturday. Maybe that was just me. But I, I know I can't be the only one that did this as a kid. I just can't be that way. Either way, we get asked a lot of questions about spacers. How do wheel spacers work? Are wheel spacers safe? What's the difference between wheel spacers and offset wheels? Can wheel spacers cause vibrations? They're all great questions, and here's the even greater news. I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. You guys can follow me on the gram at dusty.co, and today we're gonna be sitting down to have just a quick little chat to go over everything that you need to know about wheel spacers. Now, before we get into all of that, I wanna just take a quick moment and have a little chat about something that's super important, not only to myself, but the rest of the team over here at Custom Offsets. As some of you guys and gals already know, in 2017, we made a promise to give back to our community. We've been super blessed to have grown over the last few years, and that's only possible because each and every one of you have helped make it possible. Over the last four years, we've been able to make a difference in a ton of lives all over the world, and we've been able to support a ton of great charities, and it's been an awesome experience to say the least. That's why we're again teaming up with TIS Wheels to help make a big old donation to the Warrior Built Foundation. Let me break it down for you really quick. If you're not familiar, the Warrior Built Foundation is an awesome group of guys who are dedicated to helping the veterans of the United States of America through recreational therapy. Now that sounds really fancy, but what it really means is that they do things like build motorcycles with vets and take them to drag racing events and otherwise just let veterans hang out with other vets who have gone through similar stuff and really encourage those guys to be open and talk about their experiences with one another as they transition back into everyday life. Now, we were fortunate to have the guys from Warrior Built up here a few weeks back, and let me tell you, they are literally as awesome as they seem. Nick and all the rest of the guys were super humble, and they were great to just hang out with and talk about the charity and making a difference. Plus, with every shirt, bottle opener, wallet, or hoodie you guys are gonna scoop up, it also gets you entered to win our truck beast mode, which is quite literally at the Las Vegas Convention Center, at the SEMA show, at the time you guys are watching this video, which is pretty freaking wild. It went on the trailer last night. It was huge, it was wild. The truck was super cool. Shout out to WTF Logistics for making that happen. Either way, pick up a tee, help us make a difference in the lives of veterans, and you get entered to win a SEMA truck. You can do all of that by heading to customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. All right, let's talk about space and no, we're not your first girlfriend after a few years of being together and talking about needing a little room to breathe. It's not you, it's me, I promise. We're talking about wheel spacers. Let's start with the basics here. If you're not familiar, wheel spacers are a machined piece of metal that goes between your hub and or brake rotor and your wheel with the primary purpose of taking your wheel and just pushing it out further. That's why they're called the spacer, right? Because they put space between the wheel and the space. These wheel spacers come in a variety of sizes from just a few millimeters if you're looking at like car fitment all the way up to several inches if you're a truck guy. I mean, look at my boy Bug BMX who has some massive wheel spacers on his come and swapped VW Beetle. Now a side note here, while spacers generally speaking are safe, I definitely do not recommend running spacers of that caliber, especially when they're homemade wheel spacers like his are. It's quite terrifying. Drives this bug down the road, and the wheel just kind of does one of these numbers. It's, it's wild. While materials of wheel spacers may vary by manufacturer, you're gonna find that most wheel spacers are machined from one of two materials, aluminum or steel. Aluminum spacers are usually a little bit cheaper than their steel counterparts, but are also going to be weight rated for less than what their steel spacers may be rated for. This is because aluminum by nature is a lighter duty material. Now one quick note here regarding spacer material, if you're gonna get aluminum spacers, make sure that they're finished with either a paint or a powder coat. 
I don't say this because I want you to look cool, though powder coat definitely helps. The finish on the spacer will actually help your spacer from getting bonded to the brake rotors or the wheel, making it much more difficult to take off later on if you're looking to change out your wheel setup. Generally speaking, there's always been a debate about whether or not wheel spacers are safe. I don't know about you, but I know at least most of us have a story of a buddy who slapped some spacers on his truck and had it shear off, mobbing down the highway at like 90, sending the wheel just flying off into the pickers and causing you to have a really bad day. When it comes to buying wheel spacers, one of the most important things to remember is that you get what you pay for. Trust me here, I've been there. You're 16, you want more stance. So you go out and get on like the old eBay or Alibaba or Amazon or heaven forbid, you go to wish.com and you pick yourself up a set of spacers, they ship them to your door, they cost about as much as three tacos and a large Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. And a few days later, you've got a package on your doorstep with some wheel spacers. Here's where it gets spicy. Like Diablo sauce spicy. Cheap wheel spacers are, they're cheap. Typically speaking, cheaper wheel spacers don't have the research, development, or quality of materials that some of the more expensive and trusted wheel spacer brands are going to have. I've seen spacers crack in half, studs strip out when you're putting the wheel on, and heaven forbid you were to have a significant spacer failure while you're driving down the road. It could be catastrophic. This could mean bad news bears if you're on your way to a truck meet or a family vacation or even just on your way to work. While not all spacers are created equally, I can say with confidence that we only carry Bora or Stahl spacers and we've had nothing but absolutely fantastic luck with them. Our old SEMA truck, the K350, was on two inch Bora spacers all the way around and we drove the hell out of that thing. We took it from Wisconsin to Daytona, back to Wisconsin, to lifted truck nationals and we even towed bankers half ton behind it the entire way with no issues on a really heavy steel trailer. I'm serious, the trailer weighs like 5,500 pounds. It's got a massive stone dam in the front and it's not fun to pull, but it did it. Another question we get a lot when it comes to wheel spacers is do wheel spacers cause vibrations when driving? The answer to that one is no, but again, it kind of comes back to the spacers you're running. The important thing here is that you want your spacer to be hub centric. What that means is that when your spacer is put on the truck, it's going to have this little ring that mounts right to the hub of your truck. This is going to take the weight of the truck off the wheel stud solely and put some of it back on the hub of the vehicle like it was designed to do because that's the way it works. If you've ever ran a hub centric ring on an aftermarket wheel, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. This transfer of weight significantly increases the weight rating of your spacer, and it's going to keep your wheel running tried and true down the road, ensuring that you don't have any shakes or vibrations when you're driving. Again, cue the footage of Bug BMX with his not true spacers and his Archons that just do this going down the road. Overall though, it really comes down to this. If you're looking to poke your wheels out a little bit further, maybe out of the body of the truck, or you're just looking to flush up your stance if you have a Cat Eye Silverado like I do and you went with a narrow track width kit in the front, but it still kicks your wheels out like an inch and three quarters, so you want to flush up the rears, then you know it may be a great option for you. Our biggest advice when it comes to spacers is that do your research. Make sure you're getting a quality spacer from a company that backs their products. For us, it's all Bora spacers and we couldn't be happier. Do you guys have a spacer horror story? Got a buddy who lost a wheel because of a cheap spacer? Tag him in the comments down below and tell him to check out all of our Bora spacers over at customoffsets.com. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.